Well, good afternoon. Welcome to the groundbreaking event for Akron Elementary School Project. What a beautiful day. Amen. You guys excited to be out here today? Yeah. Are you excited about getting a new school? Yeah. All right. So are we. This is a very important and exciting day in the history of the Tippecanoe Valley School Corporation. As you can tell, it's exciting for the students and the staff. Um, it's an exciting day for the school corporation and for this community, the Akron community. This is a big day for this community. We're here today to celebrate the start of major improvements to the school. These improvements will provide a huge boost to our community while resulting in greater educational opportunities for the children we serve, not only today, but for years and years to come. Akron is a small rural community with a very progressive and a forward-looking attitude. The building of the new Akron Elementary School reflects the progressive attitude of the school corporation and the Akron community. We're blessed in many ways, and today we're gonna to celebrate just one of those. I'd like to, at this time, uh, turn the microphone over to Pastor Tom Craig, who's going to give the invocation. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, first of all, we just want to thank you for this gorgeous day that you provided for this moment. We consider it a privilege to be here to celebrate this opportunity for this school. The improvements and expansion addition is going to be wonderful, and we look forward to seeing the completed project. We know as God that you love children, and Father, we know that you want the best for them. We also know, Lord, that you are the source of all knowledge and wisdom, and we give you credit and glory for, for all that you do, and, and we thank you for this opportunity to see this happen. I ask, Father, your blessing on all the workers that will be uh, working hard to, to bring this project to completion. Watch over them and keep them from harm, keep them safe. I pray, Father, your blessing on those who will be able to use this facility when it's completed for the purpose of education for our children. We know it's an improvement for our school corporation as well as for this community in Akron, and we thank you, Lord, that this is taking place. So we ask your blessing on all the teachers and staff who will be a part of the education, that it will truly be an enhancement to the education of our children in this community. We praise you, Father, and just ask your blessing on the entire project and upon this event today. We pray this in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Pastor Tom. At this time, we'd ask you to please stand and face the flag, which is directly behind me, and the Tippecanoe Valley High School Band will play the national anthem under the direction of Miss Janelle Reiner. special guests that I would like to introduce and 
Uh, if you would, as I announce your name, just please stand up so the crowd knows uh, where you are, who you are. If you would, please, they'll hold your applause until we finish, and then we can applaud uh, everyone that's introduced. I'd like to start with our school board, our current school board members, uh, David O'Brien, President. <laughs> Brian Murphy, Vice President. Todd Hoffman, Secretary. Tom Kraft, member, and Stan Miller, member. Also would like to recognize uh, two school board members, past school board members who were involved in the early stages of this project, uh, that being Rod Eaton and Mark Wise. Thank you. I'd like to introduce our current assistant superintendent, Mr. Blaine Conley, as well as our retired past Superintendent and Assistant Superintendent, uh, Dr. Dan Kramer. We have three members here today of our building corporation, the Tippecanoe Valley Akron School Building Corporation, and they are uh, Mrs. Karen Francis, Mr. Chad Broyette, and Mr. Orville Haney. The project architect for this project is a company out of Fort Wayne called Barton Co. Villama Architects and Engineers. Uh, with us today we have Dana Wanamaker, who is the president, and Adam Wiesner, architect. The construction manager for this project is the Skillman Corporation, and we have a number of Skillman representatives here today. I'd like to introduce Scott Cherry, Senior Vice President, Victor Landfair, Vice President, Cindy Culbertson, Vice President, Chris Macheski, Project Manager, Akron's own Jim Mitterling, who is the Site Manager, and Brandon Wolf, Site Manager. And my understanding is that uh, they have something they'd like to present to us at this time. So, Mrs. Mills, come on up here. You need to be part of this as well. Thank you, Mr. Boggs. On behalf of both uh, the Skillman Corporation and Barton Covillama, we'd like to present this uh, plaque to you commemorating this event. Um, we thank you, can't thank you enough to give, for giving us this opportunity to work for you once again. We promise to do our best and we hope we exceed your expectations. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Thanks, Scott. Appreciate it. Thanks, Dana. Thank you, thank guys. You. Thank it's you. surreal. All right. <laughs> All right. Something to hang in your office. Yeah. So We have had some very special partners and we'll continue to have some very special partners in this project. One of those would be the town of Akron. We'd like to thank them. Uh, this project is obviously going to impact the town in a number of ways uh, for some several months to come. So we, we thank the town for their continued support and uh, their cooperation. We also would like to recognize Pike Lumber Company and especially would like to thank Kirk Robinson and Jim Steen uh, hardwoods donated by Pike Lumber Company will be featured in several areas of this new school. Uh, I think as we all know, Pike Lumber Company is a very important part of this community. That will be reflected in this new school. So I think, I think you'll enjoy that. It, uh, it's going to add a real nice touch. I also want to thank Greg and Annette Groninger. Uh, Greg and Annette own the property north of us here. Um, there's a lot of work going on down there today. In fact, uh, they own that property and we're putting a, a very good sized drainage ditch from this property um, to the ditch about a half mile north of here and it's going right across their farmland and uh, they've been very helpful in allowing us access to that um, and that's going to really help dry this area out so I want to thank Greg and Annette for their uh, cooperation and their support as well. We've got a number of local officials here I'd like to recognize today. Um, first of all members of our Akron Town Council um, are Jana Vance Brandon Sloan and Jim Sainter, thank you for attending. 
Um, our Akron clerk treasurer is Melinda Camp. I'd also like to recognize the superintendent of the Akron uh, Street Department, Marty Gearhart, and then Akron Town Marshal Justin Gearhart. Uh, we have also members of the Akron Revitalization Committee that we'd like to acknowledge today. And those folks are Kirk Robinson, Channing Utter, Dave Kruger, Merle Tinky, and Jim Sainer. And then finally, the members of the Akron Chamber of Commerce, uh, Kim Martin, Dr. Renee Schultz, and Karen Shane. And then finally, we have some county officials that uh, I'd like to recognize today. Amy Rowe is the Executive Director of the Fulton County Chamber of Commerce. Uh, Rob Parker is the Executive Director of the Kosciuszko County Chamber of Commerce. Terry Lee is the Executive Director of the Fulton, or, yeah, Fulton County Economic Development Corporation. And George Robertson, the Executive Director of the Kosciuszko County Economic Development Corporation. Please join me in giving those folks a nice round of applause. We're here today because of a process that began in the fall of 2013 uh, as we were involved in a strategic planning, comp a comprehensive strategic planning process. One of the facility related goals uh, in that strategic plan resulted from that process. And the goal is to provide educational facilities that are safe and conducive to modern learning. Well, that led to an initial assessment of the school, followed by a more in-depth assessment of the school. Uh, uh, that thorough examination of the facility and several meetings with the staff and the administration resulted in multiple concepts that were uh, actually presented to the school board along with costs. Uh, the board then selected the concept that's before us today. And if you get a chance, there are a couple of diagrams over here that show what things are going to look like. So if you're not sure, feel free to take a look at those. Just over a year ago, we conducted a public 1028 hearing in the gymnasium and selected uh, or shared with the public the project that we were looking at as well as the costs associated with it. And I must tell you that the response that we received was overwhelmingly positive. Uh, community was very supportive of what the plans were and, and we're very appreciative of that. In fact, uh, we are one of the few, very few school corporations in the state of Indiana now that uh, have been able to do a project of this extent without a voter referendum. And I think that reflects the community support of what we're doing here. Martin Coe Villama was selected in July 2015 as the architect. And uh, not too long after that in August, we selected our building corporation of Karen Francis, Orville Haney, and Chad Boyette. Bonds were sold in November 2015, and again in March 2016, which wasn't too long ago. And the bids were awarded also in March 2016. So as you can see, the work has already begun. There's quite a bit going on back behind us right now. And uh, I think when school ends here on May the 23rd, you're really gonna see uh, lots begin to happen here on this property. We anticipate the project will be completed in December of 2017. So it'll be a multi-phase project. Uh, the students are going to get to see a lot, uh, a lot of work going on here as they attend school. Um, I would anticipate that Mrs. Mills will probably have a few more gray hairs by the time this is all said and done. But it, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun to see it, see it happen. So when it's all said and done, we're gonna have a beautiful new facility that we can all be proud of. A facility that will serve our students our staff and our community well for years to come. I'd like to thank everybody that's played a part in bringing us to today's groundbreaking event. And finally, I'd like to thank the taxpayers of this community um, for seeing the need to complete this work at Akron Elementary School. Uh, I'd like to at this time turn the microphone over to Akron Elementary School Principal Chrissy Mills. Good afternoon. I want to just a show of hands. How many of you have gone to Akron School? You went here. 
it's an elementary, high school, middle school, whatever. How many of you went to Akron Elementary? I should see all my students' hands up. <laughs> you guys go here. Now, how many of you are a second, a third, or even a fourth generation Akron student? I am. Your grandparents went here. Your great-grandparents might have gone here. That's amazing. How many of you have worked at Akron School? A lot of hands going up in the crowd. It's amazing to see those hands go up. Well, I'm also one of those uh, students slash multiple generations slash employee of Akron School. My grandfather, my parents, myself, and now my own children have all gone through Akron at school, some form, high school, middle school, or the elementary. When I see all these hands go up, I just don't see people, I see a family. Because all of you always seem to come back and help us out with many different things. And so once you leave here, you are always a flyer. And I tell my fifth graders, once a flyer, always a flyer. And that's how I feel about this community that have gone here. I see people out here who care deeply about this school and what goes on inside these doors. I want to thank all of you for the support you have given Akron Schools over the past years and your dedication to making sure Akron School will continue to grow and provide our students with the best education possible. This building project would not have been possible without all of you. I look forward to what the future holds for us and our students. Thank you. I'm going to introduce now one of our uh, student council members. He's our student council president, fifth grade student, Greg Miller. Hello, I'm Greg Miller, president of the Akron Student Council. In the dictionary, it says that a school is a building where people learn. However, for us, Akron Elementary is a lot more than just a building. For years, this school has been the center of our community. It is where multiple generations have learned. It is a place where lifelong friends have met. This building is where great teachers worked hard to help their students be the best they could be. Through the years, our school teachers and students have seen many changes, like computers, cell phones, and smart boards. Now our building will be new, but some things won't change. Our teachers will still be helping kids. Great memories will be made by students in classes, at recess, and special events held at the school. And Akron Elementary will still be the center of our community. Students, thank you for making my fifth grade year one to remember. Work hard to continue fundraising and go Flyers. Thank you, Greg. Okay, we'd like to at this point conduct the actual groundbreaking. We're going to take three pictures. The first one, uh, we'll ask the school board to come forward along with uh, Mr. Conley, uh, Mrs. Mills, uh, Mr. Todd Glenn, our maintenance director, Keith Lang, our technology director. So let's have that group come forward first up here and we'll, we'll get our first one taken. Uh, following them, we have 17 students, one from each classroom. Uh, they have hard hats and shovels that they'll use, so that'll be our second photo. And then the third photo will be our building corporation of uh, Karen Francis, Chad Brett, and Orville Haining. All right, thank you everyone for your patience with that. Um, thank you kids, my hard hat kids. I do want to say that our fourth and fifth graders, um, to be able to be a hard hat student, they had to do a writing piece um, on why they wanted to be that uh, hard hat student, and then their writing pieces the winner was chosen through their writing. So that was a neat project for our fourth and fifth graders. At this time, um, we are going, the band's gonna play the Akron School Fight Song, which is way back when they had a high school here. And uh, they're gonna, sorry, Jim. <laughs> um, and Mrs. Baxter, she's our music teacher for the elementary, and she's going to lead us along with the band Ms. Reiner with the Akron School Fight Song. And there should be um, words that we copied. We kind of changed it a little bit to fit the Akron grade school. But hey, if you went to high school here, you can sing it that way. We are fine with that. Akron 
as Miss Reiner and I compared notes, we see that we actually have two different tunes. <laughs> one might be what you're familiar with, so they will lead and do the one they're used to, and then we'll do the one that we've run through just a few times here at Akron Elementary. We're not very familiar with it, but we would give it a try, but you get to do yours first. I didn't hear you. <laughs> All right, students, grab your papers if you have them, and we'll do what we have heard a few times. We've changed the lyrics of Akron High School to Akron Grade School. Oh, we will shout for old Akron Hot Grade School, and we'll yell for AGS. Never daunt us, never taunt us. We will root for AGS. Ra, 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 loyal to Akron High School. Great school. We will die, we'll praise her name. In victory or defeat, we'll never dare retreat. We'll fight for her the same. A, 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 K, R, 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 O, N, A, K, R, R, O, N, Akron, Akron, Akron. All right, at this time, I hope all the kids have their airplanes in their hands. Do you have them? All right, because we are the flyers, we had to make sure we did something with our airplane. So all the kids have a styrofoam airplane. So I want you all to stand up. And on the count of three, we're going to throw them and yell, Go Akron! How about that? All right, one, two, three, go Akron! At this time, I just want to thank you all again for coming today and supporting us. I want to say a big thank you to my staff. It has been a long road to get here. Um, we've had lots of meetings. Um, the, the companies that we're using are wonderful. They keep us involved. They have meetings with our staff, our teachers. They've been able to talk and put some input into what would make this school the best educational facility for our children and our students for now and, and for future generations. And I appreciate that and I know they do too. Um, I keep every now and then sending out emails and just say, be patient guys, be patient. Um, the best is yet to come. Uh, we're gonna get there. And we're really close knit. We've all moved to where we need to move for now. And we're going to be a very close-knit family for the next year and a half until we can get into our new educational wing. But I'm very happy and proud to have the staff that I do because they are patient and they're helping a lot with the move. And there has been really no complaining about that moving because they know what's at the end of this project. And I appreciate that. I want to thank the school board, um, our assistant superintendent and our superintendent and everybody involved, Todd Glenn, Keith Lang, everybody that's been involved with getting this project going. Uh, we're excited. It's a little bittersweet, especially if you've gone here and you start seeing things come down. That swing set out there that the Kindigs bought, I was swinging on those somewhere in this area, I think, just a couple years ago. So, um, you know, it's a bittersweet moment. And there's been a kind of choked up at times when I start to see things come down. But I'm very excited um, for what's to come. And again, I thank you very much for coming. And please stop by and see the progress as it begins August or May 24th. 
So thank you. <laughs>